George is a very hardworking, he tries to be very nice to everybody, and this woman enters his life that sort of disrupts all of that. So Amalia's story begins with um, being hired at Marichex, where she creatively has to get herself hired. Challenges his character, um, is better than him at his job in some ways, and that really frustrates him. No, for heaven's sake, I do not resent you! But if I did! <laughs> Working at the shop, she confides in Alona, and that's how we discover that she's been writing um, letters to the Lonely Hearts Club. He could be 75. The advertisement said young man. You haven't even asked for a photograph? I don't know his name or what he looks like. Uh, everybody wants two things. Um, to be fully known and to be fully loved. George, in an effort to do that, joins this Lonely Hearts Club. Uh, but listen to this. <sighs> Dear friend. And so when he finds out that the person in real life is not loving him or knowing him the same way that he thought he should be known or loved, it really disrupts what he thinks about love and life and who he is. I recommend to take. I think this show is perfect for the holidays because of the way everybody's returning home. It's a feel-good show. You get to watch two people fall in love. This show is all about living the life that you think you're supposed to be living and then you get to return to what's important. The music is incredible. You leave with the tune stuck in your head. And who doesn't love a good love story around Christmas time? <laughs> Come see the show, she loves me. Get your tickets at OregonCabaret.com.